another little journey here. It's just gonna be a short little weekend away over in Osaka. I'm currently here at the Korean Incheon International Airport. Uh, just getting ready to board. This trip to the airport was a lot more comfortable and a lot more streamlined. I ended up taking the Korean Air Limousine, which is a bit of a luxury bus that comes in and out of Seoul. And great leather seats, uh, basically 5 a.m. There was no traffic at all. Basically blasted through the entire city and got to the airport in about 40 minutes. I just started boarding for my flight. And with that, it's time to take off and I'll see you in Osaka. All right, so I've landed safely here in Osaka. As soon as I stepped off the plane, I wanted to go over to my hostel. I just wanted to drop off my bags, perhaps get a little early check-in, but unfortunately with this hostel, all of the lobby was closed off until three o'clock. Had a couple hours to kill. So I went over to the Kudamon Fish Market, which is a very popular, kind of like a Tsukiji style market that they have here in Osaka. It was an awesome way to kill the time. I had some great skewers. They had salmon skewers. We can get sashimi style or barbecued. Uh, one of my friends here got octopus. And I also messed around with this beef that they had, which was freshly grilled right up there. You could get Kobe beef for about 2,500 or just an awesome Japan style beef that they have for only 500 yen. Some great deals and here now I am at the Kyocera Dome. On my first visit to Osaka last year, I really wanted to come here to experience a Japanese baseball game and see the Hanshin Tigers. Uh, unfortunately, it was a holiday week in the middle of August and the whole place was sold out hours before the game even started. But today, the Oryx Buffaloes were able to let me in. I got a ticket and I'm going to this game. The Oryx Buffaloes are the lesser known team here out of the two teams that call Osaka their home. They were a merger team actually. They started up in 2004 as a merger between the Oryx Blue Wave, which is a team that's famous for having Ichiro as one of their players in the 90s when they won a championship and also the Kintetsu Buffaloes which were also went by the Braves. I'm an Atlanta Braves fan. I like the merger. I like Ichiro and they were able to let me in for the game. About a year ago to this day I was dangerously close to becoming a Hanshin Tigers fan just because of their historic stadium and their atmosphere but it looks like the Buffaloes were able to snatch me up. So with my new hat here in place, let's not waste any time. We've got about an hour into the first pitch. Let's get inside the stadium. So I'm sitting in the second row here of the section that's a little bit more crowded down there. So just to kind of give a little bit of information, I wanted to come up here about a couple rows up. So today here at the Kyocera Dome, we have the Orcs Buffaloes going up against the SoftBank Hawks. The Hawks are one of the more dominant teams here in Japanese baseball. They've won the championship many times this decade. They're having a great season. I think they're in the pennant race this year as well. So. Uh, the Buffaloes aren't really at the top. They're kind of more one of the bottom teams in the league. So we'll see if they can pull off the upset today. Hopefully there'll be some increased energy with this crowd. I don't really know anything else on how it would be otherwise. But this is the last weekend of the season as the finale will be tomorrow on Sunday. This is the Saturday game. Until we get close into the first pitch, I'm just going to walk around this place, see what kind of atmosphere we have in different parts of the ballpark.
So clearly what I'm noticing here, in, at least in the Kyocera Dome, uh, most of the action is happening out in the outfield. That's where the bands are situated. And the outfield isn't the biggest section. It's a little tight in there. But they have a lot of the cheering going on for both the Hawks and the Buffaloes. I really try to get a cheering section ticket. Um, I tried to indicate that to the lady at the ticket office. But I am still here on the Buffaloes half, but I guess it's more of just like a spectator sit down and watch the game. That ticket, the one I got, was 3800 I believe tickets in the outfield are going somewhere for about um, 2,000 yen. So that's a cheaper deal to be with the cheering section. A little bit different from in Korea where if you're paying for the cheapest price, you're gonna be kind of left out of the fun. But this atmosphere is amazing regardless. Uh, there's just trumpets in the air, people singing, and the game hasn't even started yet. We have about 25 minutes left until the first pitch. So they get their singing done early out here in Japan. <laughs> In the spirit of the game, let's start off with the high ball, only 700 yen. So before the game starts, just walking around, uh, trying to get a feel for the dimensions of this park, like where are the separations, the gates, the fences, is it segregated, how you know far along can you just be free to roam. Uh, as far as I see, it is marked off, like it is closed off in certain parts. Uh, there is a fence of a gate kind of separating the outfield cheering section and the infield seats. And when you get to around home plate, there's a little bit of a separation there as well, so you can't get past there. But one of the coolest things I've ever seen, um, if you splurge a little bit more for the seats close to home plate, they have like air conditioning vents uh, at the back of the seat, which is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in any sports stadium. Of course, of course it's like this in Japan, of course it is. All right, so while doing some a little bit venturing around, um, taking a look at kind of the concessions, we're in the middle of the game right now. And for the most part, it's decently priced, uh, maybe a little bit more expensive than what you would find, like if we're talking about alcohol and beer. But when it comes to like takoyaki or like different street food, uh, it's pretty reasonably priced what you find on the street. I found about eight takoyaki balls for 420 yen, which is a pretty good deal and like compared to a lot of parts of Dotonbori. I even somehow wandered my way into the soft bank hawks cheering section while they were up to bat. Um, for a second I thought security was about to kick me out, but I quickly realized I was wearing this hat in enemy territory. Just had to take it off. The guy nodded. He was like, all right, smart lad. And was able to make it in. So I got a little bit of footage for that. Definitely comparing uh, this Japanese baseball experience to what I've seen in Korea, it's still everything you'd get from an Asian baseball experience. There's loud singing, there's the crowds, there's the energy in this building. Uh, but it also has like a little bit of a mix between that that you'd see in the KBO and the MLB. There's a lot of kind of familiar assets or facets that uh, I've noticed. They even have food and like little mini plastic helmets, kind of like, you know, like the ice cream that you could get at any MLB game. Uh, the, all of the players have walk-up songs, like so they have any of their songs they want.
But as soon as the walk-up song ends, then the team singing and cheering and the instruments come in. So it's a nice bit of a balance between the two. In the outfield, they have some specific songs that aren't for a player, they're just for the team. And the song's never gonna end as long as the team's up to bat. They had this one song that was awesome, and it went like, oi, oi, oi. It just kept going on for as long as I was standing there, like at least over five, 10 minutes. Uh, because the team kind of went on a little bit of a rally and they put up two runs. So they take the lead, uh, two to one, going into the fifth inning. In the close game that it's been, the energy has never faded. Uh, I guess seventh inning is balloon time, as both Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks had their own balloon ceremony, and then the Buffaloes had their own balloon ceremony in the middle of the seventh. So I thought that was a tradition that was exclusive to the Hanshin Tigers, but it seems to be a pretty regular occurrence in Japanese baseball. Alright, so we're coming in here close to the end of the game and I just want to give some of my final thoughts while I'm still here in the stadium. I think the Japanese baseball experience was everything that I thought it would be. Uh, it's really, really great. Very, very comfortable atmosphere. It definitely leans a lot closer to the Major League Baseball experience compared with Korean baseball. But, you know, that doesn't mean there's still a lot of passion. They still have their singing section where everything is going very loud. Overall, it's a great time and it's also a great show to watch. The quality is pretty great as far as fielding is concerned. It looks like it's almost like AAA level. The quirky traditions, the convenience to get drinks, there's really not much to not like about this place. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful stadium on its own. And even the bathrooms, I went in there, they're so clean. Uh, compared to anything else I've seen in a baseball park. The toilets were completely equipped that everything you would see in a Japanese bathroom. Uh, it's definitely just an amazing experience out here at the Kyocera Dome in Osaka. And with that, the game is squared away. So it's time to move on to the rest of Osaka.